Praise the Lord everyone and welcome back to Spiritual Morsels. Today, if there is one word that is commonly uttered by everyone, that is Corona or COVID-19. You see, COVID-19 is spreading all over the world in a very fast pace. And much faster than that, the fear of COVID-19 is spreading all over the world. And everywhere in each country, the government is asking its people to maintain self-isolation or quarantine. And we see that people are reluctant to follow this advice. And that is the very reason why COVID-19 has spread all over the world so far, because people were not ready to maintain quarantine. Now, let me ask you, when was the first time that the concept of quarantine was introduced into this world? Historians believe that it was between BC 14th century and 15th century that the Israelites uh, started their exodus from Egypt to Canaan. And in the Bible, we see that during that journey, God calls Moses up onto the mountain and gives him a long list of instructions. And in those instructions, in the book of Leviticus chapter 13, we read that if a person is suffering from any kind of infectious disease, he is supposed to maintain self-isolation or quarantine. It says that he shall dwell alone and his dwelling shall be outside the camp. The infectious person is quarantined for seven days. After a period of seven days, he is examined by the priest. And if he is found to be still infectious, the period of quarantine is extended for seven more days. Thus, a person suffering from any infectious disease is supposed to maintain a total of 14 days of quarantine. Now, after this period of quarantine, when the person returns to the camp, we see in the later part of chapter 13 and in chapter 14 how uh, the person is supposed to follow sanitation high standards of sanitation is what we see there we can see instructions on how the person is supposed to wash his hands uh, cleanse himself by bathing washing the clothes and disposing of clothes that are touched by an infectious person disposal of utensils or anything that are touched by an infectious person how these things are to be incinerated or burnt and uh, how utensils are to be sanitized by washing and especially pottery it says pottery has to be washed and destroyed completely because you see pottery is made of clay and in those pores uh, bacteria Bacterial spores or fungal spores can hide and fungal mycelia can grow in. So God knows that washing will not serve the purpose. So he asks them to destroy the pottery completely after washing them. And so we see a very high standard of sanitation and quarantine being maintained here in all these chapters uh, in Deuteronomy chapter 23 in Numbers chapter 19 we see how if we touch a dead person how we are to sanitize ourselves you see today we know that a dead body is a host for microorganisms to multiply fast but back then people did not know that but they just followed the instructions that God gave them Today, in AD 2020, in spite of knowing all these things, we know that this infection is being spread by viruses and we know how it spreads, but still we are reluctant to follow quarantine. The Bible teaches us to obey our rulers. In Romans chapter 13, we read that all of you must obey those who rule over you because the governments are placed there by God himself. So when the government is asking us to maintain self-isolation, we must follow the rules. This high standard of quarantine and sanitation has been given by God in 14th to 15th century BC. But we who are living in AD 2020 are reluctant to follow these standards. Now you might tell me that this is something that was given in the Old Testament. We are living in the New Testament and the blood of Jesus is enough for us to cover us and keep us safe from all these diseases. Yes, I do believe in the blood of Jesus. It is true that the blood of Jesus is powerful. But at the same time, we must understand Jesus himself has asked us to be wise as serpents. What does a serpent do? The serpent doesn't slither around in public. It doesn't come out of its burrow when it senses that there is danger outside. It remains inside and it is good for itself and it is good for the safety of those who are outside. 
It will come out of its burrow only when it knows that there is no danger outside. The church, the bride of Christ, is supposed to be wise and not foolish. You see, Paul in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, when he explains about the gifts of the Holy Spirit, which is the first gift that he mentions there, the gift of wisdom. The church, the bride of Christ, is supposed to exhibit the gift of wisdom first and foremost. All the other gifts, the gift of healing, the gift of miracles, all the other gifts will follow. But we are to exhibit wisdom. Paul says in Colossians chapter 7 that Christ is the head and we, the church, are his body. During these testing and trying times, let us be the body of Christ. Let us be the hands and feet of Jesus. Let us identify people who are needy, who are in self-isolation, who are suffering. Maybe we can provide for them grocery or anything that they need for a period of two weeks. We can just provide it to them at their doorstep. We can be of emotional support to them. We can pray for them. May we become truly the body of Christ to the world during these testing times. And at the same time, let us prepare to meet our Lord. We all know that the coming of the Lord is very near. May the Lord help each one of us to be the hands and feet of Jesus, to use our wisdom and at the same time to prepare for the coming of the Lord. God bless you.